so <clears throat> I had Owen Benjamin in my ear this morning. So I was prepping breakfast for wife and kids. I don't know if it was a new stream or an old stream. Uh, at any rate, he was talking about uh, that headline from a few years ago um, about how the clouds around Uranus smell like farts and rotten eggs. <clears throat> so I remember the headline. Uh, and that was around about the time that everybody started pronouncing Uranus, Uranus. Sometimes I was hearing Uranus. Right? How about you? Hearing that? Uranus, 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 but like <clears throat> Uranus. By the time that headline came out a few years ago, I felt that saying Uranus was Old English, like spelling shop with two P's and an E. <laughs> Uranus, Uranus. Uranus doesn't smell like farts. Uranus does though. Uranus as well. <laughs> Way back when I was a sleeper, I was noticing uh, the McMac flip flop. <clears throat> McDonald's, McDonald's, you know, here and there. Uh, I've never really had a stable home. <laughs> you want to find out more about that? You can go find me on minds.com at T E O T E, the ends of the earth. Uh, yeah, I've never really had a stable home up until hmm, time's getting on along right but until I'd say relatively recently uh, <clears throat> so this whole micmac flip-flop I just figured it was because of whatever side of the border I was on you know so you know then Mick cafe came along you know, I, I was still oblivious, right? Like, until the Mandela effect had up and slapped me in the face, like around 2015, something. Yeah, about 2015. You know, I'm like, God damn it, I fucking knew it. I knew there was some shifty business, and mind you, half, half the time, half the time of this micmac flip-flop and you know I was a sound sleeper dedicated right meat and alcohol and cigarettes and... yeah <laughs> flandering relentless relentless flanderer <laughs> fuck dude I I was seeing the micmac flip-flop even while I was sound asleep, you know, so now this time around I feel like you're not going to catch me with this Uranus stuff, okay? You're not going to catch me with this Uranus stuff. <clears throat> depending on what side of the border I'm on, depending on what side of the friggin' ocean I'm on. I just figured it's, it's how they say it in Europe or something, <laughs> right? You know, dropping their R's and stuff like that. Here's the point I'd like to leave 
uh, first-hand experience with a bunch of kids here at the ends of the earth. And my kids are bilingual completely because my wife, she's from here. And so, um, my fluency with the language of the land here is zero. I don't. <clears throat> my wife does. Wonderfully. She's, she's just as bilingual as my children are. Um, I think this is because of the dynamic in the, in the home. A lot of English and a lot of native tongue as well. Uh, however, when they're speaking English, uh, they're dropping their R's from the ends of words. You know how, how British do, right? Over there, the chair over there, Right? <clears throat> over in North America, it's the chair over there. Hard R. <laughs> yeah, so what I think it is <clears throat> is because there's, uh, there's not much languages surrounding North America. And so when English is left alone, the hard R at the end comes about. But you see, over here in, in Europe, the um, English, English has been intermingling with the surrounding languages aplenty, right? French, Spanish, Hungarian, Bulgarian, Czech, Polish, la la la, right? And so I see with my kids, this is going on, you know. So we took them to a speech therapist. It's a regular thing, no big deal. It's not like they got freaking cleft palates or anything. <laughs> Bilingual kids just, you know, their language skills appreciate this, this rudimentary um, boost. Yeah, so, uh, you know, they've got their hard R's at the end hanging off every English word. Just fine. But for a while there, you know, you know, it was like living with Betty Deuce there, or Peppa Pig. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so yeah, that's that's what I have to say about that. Uranus, eh? Uranus. Uranus. Okay. Lest we forget your anus. Oh, look at those. That's lovely. I got a minute to look at that. I have my glasses at home here. How much time are we at? Nine minutes. Okay. We'll go check out those yellow cuties there. Growing up out of a, out of a muddy puddle. Huh? Look at that. That's beautiful. So... <clears throat> So yeah, hard R's. Hard R's leave English alone and I think hard R's will, will come back. Uh, lest we forget Uranus. It's looking a little muddy from here on in. I got my soft shoes on. I think that's as good as we're gonna get, folks. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Hope you have a nice day. Take care.